My name is Robbie, and I'm a rap god. Gonna put my line in, I'm gonna catch a cod. Don't believe me? Just wait and see. Gonna throw my line in, and I'm gonna catch a cod. Word. Hey, you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Sometimes you've got to get wet and walk across the river just to get to the good spots. That intro was a little bit out there, wasn't it? That bit of a rap song. <laughs> anyway, tonight I'm using two rods. I've got a Pat Noster rig on each rod. This rod here's got a little bit of tasty cheese and quite a heavy sinker to combat this current. This second rod here has got two Jan Juck worms and a small hook. The small hook and the worms are just in case there's a yellow belly lurking. And the cheese and the big hook and sinker is in case there's a cod lurking. Right. You may or may not have seen the video, but last winter I caught a trout cod in one of my crayfish nets. That was off that high bank over there. I was standing right at the top of the bank and throwing the net all the way down in under that clay bank to try and catch a crayfish. I didn't catch a single crayfish, but I did catch a really big, probably 50 centimetre trout cod in the cray net. <laughs> that was something a bit different. Whoa, getting a bite on the worms here. Oh, there it goes. Got him. First fish. Fish on. Looks like a little cod. Maybe a little trout cod, is it? And yes, it is. Trout cod on the Jan Juck worms. I'll unhook him and I'll get give you a good look at him. Jeez, mate, it's only a tiny hook, but you've managed to get it in the thickest part of your mouth. There we go, folks. A trout cod. See, he's got his gears, his gills flared. That's because he's stressed. Once he gets in there and realizes he's free, you'll take off like a rocket. Any second now. Any second. There he goes. He went the wrong way. He's. <laughs> He's a bit confused. Mate, what are you doing? You're free. You don't know what the hell's going on, mate. <laughs> but anyway, folks, I'm on the board with a lovely little trout cod. On the worms, the Jan Juck worms, the Jan Juck double. And that was way over there, just in front of them trees. There's a bite, there's a bite. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, can I catch a second fish for the night? Something's still there. Got him. Wow, it's been so quiet. I've got that weenie little trout cod. This is a weenie. You got off? Oh no, this is an even weenier little fish. Is that another trouty? No, I believe that's a yellow belly. Yes, it is too. There we go, folks. Didn't I say at the start? That's the cod rod. This is the yellow belly rod. Lovely dark yellow belly, but gee whiz, he's got a lot of issues with his tail going on. Huh, mate, someone's eating half your tail. Someone's ate half your ass off. All right, he's uh, unfortunately hooked a little bit deep. So I'll just break the line and I'll put him back and I'll say, see you later, yellow belly. Wow, it's been so quiet. Within five or ten minutes of getting here, I've got that little trout cod, and it's taken me until five to eight to get the second fish. That's a lovely little yellow belly. Right now, I've got to get my line back in real quick. There's not a second to lose. I'm running out of light. Probably only got about ten minutes left. It's a very fishy bite. Come on, take it. Missed him. No, I've got him. I've got a third fish. This is even smaller. This is tiny. What have we got? It is a Macquarie perch now. Wow. That's all happening. I've got a trout cod, a yellow, and now a maca. I'll get a photo of this. A lot of people confuse these fish with, uh, a lot of people confuse these fish with silver perch. There we go, folks. A lovely little Macquarie perch. See you later, mate. The old Macquarie perch, eh? Right, now it's getting really dark. I can barely see where I'm putting my line, but I'm going to put it back in anyway. Just give it one last go. I can just see. I've probably got five minutes of light left, I reckon, at the most. Right, I'm getting a bite here. You probably can't see the rod, but I can.
got him. This one's a little bit bigger. It feels a little bit bigger. What have I got this time? A trout cod? It might be a Murray cod. It's anything I haven't caught. All right, let's put the uh, light. I think it is a Murray cod. Uh, <laughs> you've got to be joking. It is too. It's a Murray cod. It's only small. I see if I can get the uh, see if I can get the lighting right for you. Right, let's see if that's not too bright. Oh, he just flared his gills out. Hang on, mate. I'll unhook you. Right, folks, hopefully that's in the right spot. Look at that, a tiny, tiny little Murray cod caught after dark on a bunch of worms. That is so cool. Let's see if I can get some footage of him being released. Oh, here we go. See you later, mate. Off you go. <laughs> He's got his gills flared still. Oh, I'll swim him a bit. There he goes. Tong. <laughs> now that's what you call a mixed bag. In order of appearance, a small trout cod, and then a golden perch, and then a Macquarie perch, and then a Murray cod. Four fish, four different species, and I never caught the same species twice. That is just unbelievable. Folks, I've had a blast. Thank you very much for watching. If you've had a blast watching this video, why not give it a big fat thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and hopefully I'll see you on my next adventure.